Hi, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add a moon to an existing moonless photo using Adobe Elements 11. In a previous video I showed you how to do the exact same thing using um, Photoshop CS6. But of course um, Photoshop CS6 is over $700 and you could get um, Adobe Elements 11 for less than $70. So it's, um, you know, a pretty good alternative if you don't have all the money to spend on um, Photoshop CS6. First thing we're going to do is, uh, well I'll show you, I have two tabs. One has the moon that I'm going to be using. The other one is the photograph where I want to put the moon. Um, over on the layers palette, um, I'm going to duplicate the background layer by hitting Command J. If you have a PC, hit Control J. And then I go over to the tab with the moon. I'm going to click on the Move tool, or you could just hit V, and that will bring you to the Move tool. You click on the moon, and just drag it up to the other tab, and drop it on the picture. Now you move it to, uh, into the picture to the position where you want it. Now, um, one thing I want to do is I want to rotate it, and I want to make it a little bigger. Uh, to make it bigger, you could just pull on any of these um, spots where the boxes are on the uh, square around the moon. But if you hold the shift key in when you do it, you'll keep everything in proportion so you won't be distorting the shape of the moon. The other thing I want to do I mentioned is uh, rotate it because it appears in the photograph that the sun is in the upper left corner shooting across the picture from the upper left to the lower right. Whereas in the moon, it's pretty obvious that the sun is a little more south of the middle of the moon, shooting up at the moon. So I want to match uh, the lighting. So if you take your cursor and you'll notice as you pull it away from the corner, it turns into a double arrow. That allows you to rotate it. Just click on it and rotate it to wherever you think you'd like it. And then click the checkbox. The next thing um, we want to do is we need to blend the moon into the background, into the blue sky. Go over here to the blending modes. Right now, as you can see, it's on normal. We want to change it to screen. Now it's blended in um, pretty well. It's a little bright, though, for this picture, I think. So I want to change the opacity and just bring it down a little bit. You get this is to your taste somewhere around 40% 40, 40 or so I like. And that's it. That's how to add a moon to an existing moonless picture using Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. And um, in future videos I'll show some more difficult applications of applying the moon. Maybe put it behind clouds and maybe uh, reflection off water. So be looking for those videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in learning more about photography, stop by anthonymorganti.com and get some articles and videos and um, tips and tricks for photography. Thanks again for watching.